Welcome to the Rosicrucian Podcast, recorded at beautiful and historic Rosicrucian Park in San Jose, California. Our podcast will explore a variety of topics, including mysticism and philosophy, Egyptology, art, music, science, and history. This podcast is sponsored by the Rosicrucian Order, Amwork, a philosophical and initiatic tradition. To see a playlist of all of our shows, please visit rosicrucian.org. Good day and welcome to the Rosicrucian Podcast. I'm your host, Jason Leonti. The Rosicrucian Code of Life proposes a simple, ethical, and moral code to guide one's conduct. Taken from ancient and modern manuscripts, this code of life inspires Rosicrucians and others of like mind who aspire to reach the ideal state that Rosicrucians call the Rose Qua. The Rosicrucian Code of Life has been published in 24 languages, including Esperanto, Arabic, Hebrew, Latin, and even in hieroglyphs. The following reading is by Grandmaster Julie Scott. The Rosicrucian Code of Life 1. In the morning, before rising, thank the God of your heart for the new day that you are privileged to live on the earthly plane, and ask God to inspire you throughout the day. Then, standing facing east, take seven deep breaths as you focus on the vitality that is awakening in you. Afterwards, drink a glass of water and then begin your daily activities. 2. Despite the trials and tribulations of life, always consider life the most precious gift the cosmic ever granted human beings, because it is the medium of our spiritual evolution and the source of the happiness we seek. Furthermore, regard your body as the temple of your soul and take great care of it. 3. If you can, reserve a place in your home dedicated to prayer, meditation, and the study of the Rosicrucian teachings. Make it your own oratory, your sanctum, and keep it free from any profane concern or activity. 4. Before every meal, Give thanks to God for being fortunate enough to have something to eat, and think of all those who do not have the privilege of eating their fill. If you are alone or together with other members of the order, place your hands above your food, palms down, and say mentally or aloud the symbolic invocation. May this food be purified, and magnetized by the vibrations radiating from my hands, so to provide for my body and soul's need. May all those who are hungry be associated with this meal and be given a spiritual share of its benefits. So mote it be. 5. You know that the aim of all human beings is to perfect themselves, to become better persons. Therefore, constantly endeavor to awaken and express the virtues of the soul that animate you. In doing so, you will contribute to your evolution and serve the cause of humanity. 6. Isolate yourself for a moment every day, preferably in your sanctum, and send thoughts of love, harmony, and health towards humanity as a whole, particularly towards all those who suffer physically or mentally. Also, ask God to assist them on all planes and to preserve them as much as possible from the ordeals of life. 
7. Behave in such a way that all those who share your existence or live in contact with you regard you as an example and feel the desire to be like you. Guided by the voice of your conscience, may your ethics be as pure as possible and may your first preoccupation always be to think well, speak well, and act well. 8. Be tolerant and defend the right to be different. Never use the faculty of judgment to blame or condemn anyone, for you cannot read the hearts and souls of others. Look at them benevolently and leniently and see what is best in them. 9. Be generous towards those who are in need or less favored than you. Arrange things every day so that you do at least one good deed for someone else. Whatever your good deed, do not boast. But thank God for enabling you to contribute to the well-being of others. 10. Be moderate in your behavior and avoid extremes in all things. Be temperate and follow the middle way in all circumstances. 11. If you hold a position of power, do not be overly proud about it and do not become intoxicated by the power you may wield. Never use your position to force others to do anything that they disapprove of, or that is unfair, illegal, or immoral. Hold your office with humility, and make it serve the common good. 12. Be attuned to others and speak with care. If you ever criticize, make sure that it is done constructively. If someone asks you for advice on a subject you do not know well, humbly admit your ignorance. Never stoop to telling lies, backbiting, or slander. If you hear malicious gossip about someone, do not support it by lending a willing ear. 13. Respect the laws of your country and endeavor to be a good citizen. Always remember, the key to human progress lies in the evolution of consciousnesses. 14. Be humanistic. Regard all humanity as your family. Beyond race, culture, and belief, All human beings are brothers and sisters. Consequently, they all deserve the same respect and consideration. 15. Consider nature as being the most beautiful sanctuary and expression of divine perfection on earth. Respect life in all its forms and look upon animals as conscious and sensitive beings and not as mere living things. 16. Be and remain a free thinker. Think for yourself and not according to what other people think. Likewise, let everyone think freely. Do not impose your ideas on others And always remember that your ideas are also evolving. 17. Respect all religious or philosophical beliefs as long as they do not strike a blow at human dignity. Do not support fanaticism or fundamentalism in any shape or form. As you live your faith, make sure that you are neither dogmatic nor sectarian. 18. Be faithful to your promises and commitments. 
When you give your word of honor, consider it to be a sacred pledge that binds you. If you must take an oath, think of the rose cross, the symbol of your ethical ideal, while doing so. And remember that any lie you might tell will have karmic consequences for you. Although it is possible to deceive others, no one can escape divine justice. 19. If you can afford and wish to do so, support the order materially so as to promote its activities and contribute to its continuity. 20. The purpose of the order is to contribute to the raising of consciousnesses and the transmission of its centuries-old teachings. Therefore, make yourself available to present its ideals and philosophy to those who seek knowledge, but without ever trying to coerce them. 21. Never cause anyone to believe that members of the order are sages who are in full possession of the truth. To those who may ask, present yourself as a philosophical person who is seeking wisdom. Never pretend you are a rose qua, but say you are a perfecting Rosicrucian. 22. In the evening before going to sleep, summarize the day that is ending and see in what ways it has been constructive or otherwise. In your soul and mind, weigh up what you have thought, said, and done throughout the day. From this, draw useful lessons for your spiritual evolution and make firm resolutions. When this is done, send positive thoughts to the whole of humanity and entrust your soul to God before going to sleep. So mote it be. Thank you so much for joining us for another Rosicrucian podcast and today's reading on the Rosicrucian Code of Life by Grandmaster Julie Scott. We'll look forward to seeing you next time on the next Rosicrucian podcast. This show has been produced and sponsored by the Rosicrucian Order Amwork a philosophical and initiatic tradition. It is not a religion. As students progress in their studies, they're initiated into the next level or degree. Rosicrucians are men and women around the world who study the laws of nature in order to live in harmony with them. Individuals study the Rosicrucian lessons in the privacy of their own homes on subjects such as the nature of the soul, alchemy, developing intuition, classical Greek philosophy, energy centers in the body, and self-healing techniques. The Rosicrucian tradition encourages each student to discover the wisdom, compassion, strength, and peace that already reside within each of us. Be sure to visit our website for further information on past, present, and future podcasts at rosicrucian.org.